Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where the protagonist looks back at his early years and feels bad about all the times he didn't cheat. So uh, the perceptive among you may notice that this is not where we left off at the last episode, and uh, the reason for that is we're going to take a little trip back in time to the beginning of the series again. Uh, and the reason for that is I want to be able to claim that I have broken every single puzzle in this game, uh, but unfortunately we skipped a lot of the puzzles in the first areas. Uh, the tutorial, I think we only did the three green puzzles over there, and even then, uh, we just did them the normal way. We didn't even break them. We also skipped a whole bunch of stuff in East 1 and East 2. Uh, we didn't do the Easter eggs in East 1. Uh, so I'm just going to go back in time here and make sure we fix that. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, since I have no idea how to get around this blue gate without actually opening it, uh, we're going to jam it from behind, just because, you know, why not? So there's a little crack right there you can jam it through, and sometimes it doesn't open it just like that, so let me uh, give it one more try. Yeah, there we go. And then in here, uh, next thing we're going to do is the same thing that we did in the first episode, and that is to put the box right here and jump up on the wall. I really hope they don't fix that ever. Uh, heads up, I probably will be playing just most or all of this episode in uh, third person, because there is a lot of jumping around. Now, when you're on here, make sure you don't accidentally uh, follow the jump guide and go down there, because you'll uh, lose your box right there, and that won't be any good. So we're just going to grab that and jump in. We're also going to leave that right there for later. And we're going to go do the first three puzzles here, the green ones. And for this one, we're just going to open that and then ignore that box completely because we are going to have our own way up here. And that is by exploiting these little foot statues here. And there we go, there's the first one done. And then in this one, we are going to abuse the same uh, photo mode exploit that we used in South 3, the Circular Oasis. And uh, if you place the box inside of yourself like this, normally it pushes you out and there's no way to jump. But if you go into photo mode, it resets that state. So we're just going to place it, go in, go out, just like that. And there's our next one done. And for this one, we are going to place this in a very precise spot that's, I don't know, kind of around here somewhere. That should work. And from this foot statue here, it gives us just enough height to be able to jump up on top of the box like that. And from there, we can just jump up here. All right, with all three of those puzzles done, we're going to jump out and take the box with us. All right, and I'm going to run around. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is I also don't want to open any of those Tetromino gates. I want to, like, truly break this area as much as I can. So to get into the yellow area, we're going to run around here, and there's going to be a fan uh, next to the second puzzle there that we can jump in with. And it's right here. And from here, it gives us a little footprint to jump over the, the little fence right here. And this is one of those rare times where I actually do want to use the jump guide. And we'll leave that box right in the corner and go get our next one. All right. And then there's a little crack in the wall here that you can stand on. And that lets you jump up there and then up on top of the wall. And we have our first of four boxes that we'll eventually need over here. And the second one will be in the first puzzle here. And like many of these puzzles, we'll solve about half of it uh, the correct way, like this. And cheese the last half. Just like that. And I'm very glad this is a crumbling Egyptian ruin, because that means lots of holes in walls, and holes in walls means exploits. Gotta love it. Alright, and for our next two boxes, they're going to be right inside here. We will be solving this, uh, but it's going to take a minute. i got to get some other stuff done first here. And we're going to use that fan bumping trick that we learned in West 1, I think it was. Yeah. I love this trick. If you can get it to happen. Why do these exploits have to be so inconsistent? They really should make these glitches more consistent for me. There we go, there's one done. Darn it. Let's reposition the fan here. Right there. And there we go. 
So with all these done, we're just gonna make a little staircase here. That we, way we can get up on top of that wall. So let's uh, grab that box, jump up on top of this little uh, post sign thing. Do that, jump up on this little corner here. And we need three boxes up here in total because we are gonna make a little staircase with it. There we go. We're gonna put our little staircase right here. You really don't wanna fall down here. I think I would have to reset the whole episode if I did that, because I don't think there's any way out. All right, so we're gonna grab one box and we're gonna bring it with us right over here. Um, be very careful not to fall through these like more orangish spots. Uh, there is no collision there and you'll just fall right through into the, the, the room below. All right, we're gonna use that box to get up on top of this highest roof and then make sure we drop the box down because we will need it later and we don't want it stuck up here. We're just gonna very carefully run along the scaffolding here and get this piece. And there we go. Now, before I go any further, I just want to make sure I get all these boxes down because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them down later because we're gonna be losing one of these boxes. So, better safe than sorry. Turn it. There we go. All right, and for this next one, uh, we need to get into this puzzle to break this puzzle, which allows us to get back in and break this puzzle. So it's kind of a multi-layered solution here. So we're just gonna run through here, and we could get this jammer, because we need to get a jammer up on top, um, but I think it's more fun to get this jammer, because you're not supposed to be able to get it out of here. But if you just put it right about there, that should work. Yep. And all we gotta do is jump up on this wall, which is easier than said, said than done. There we go, wasn't too hard. And from up here, we can parkour to the highest spot here, and we're gonna jam that fan that's keeping us from getting that puzzle piece that's down there in the previous puzzle. All right, and with that jammed, we're just gonna run around, go into the previous puzzle. And we're gonna grab this box that we left in the corner. And we're gonna run in here, make sure we get our puzzle piece. We're gonna jump up on top of the fan, just like that. Don't think we need this box with us, but yeah, why not? All right, and then from here, once we're on top of the walls, it uh, just occurred to me that we could have just gotten up on top of here from up there, but whatever. Too late to change that now. And we can just jump right in. I really need to be careful when I'm jumping like that to not hit that fan, because that'll just throw me over there and screw it all up. All right, and now that we have all of these done, all we have to do now is get a jammer and a box outside of the main play area here. Uh, we just want them in the previous lobby. And to do that, we're going to use a couple of boxes over here. Going to put it right about there. We're going to jump up on this signpost. Yeah. Very tiny collision box there. All right, and with that, we can jump over onto the wall, grab a box, drop it in put this jammer on top of the box that way we can reach it from up on top of the wall we're gonna need to go get one more box here back up on top of the wall Oop, not far enough and get the jammer we're just gonna bring our boxes back over well, advantage of getting that extra box out of that puzzle there is that I don't have to uh, jump up on the signpost here. I can just make a good old-fashioned staircase. And then from the opposite end of that wall up there, we can just jump right over there. Let's get this up. Get our jammer. I really don't want to fall... Um, into there and it's really hard to see through this little tree right here all right we're gonna put that right there and get our jammer we're gonna jump on top of the wall there and make sure we don't fall in because uh then we wouldn't have any way of getting back out without the box in here and we're gonna jump back i'm gonna see if i can uh, make this jump here without needing a box to jump off of 
And I did. Cool. That saves a bit of time. And we're going to leave this box over here so that we can use it to escape one more time. And we'll grab the jammer and bring it over here to the red gate. And we're just going to jam that first puzzle's uh, gate right there. Just like that. Right through the gate. And one final escape over here to get into the red area. Oh, bad jump. There we go. I, uh... I think if I fell in there, I'd be fine. I think I'd be able to find a way out. But I don't want to chance it. And from on top of here, we can jump into the red area. Put this box in the corner for later. We'll use it when we're breaking this and this puzzle. And let's run over and do that first one that we jammed here. And with the jammed gate, it's going to be very simple to just run around the back here and grab the piece. We'll take this connector here. Uh, this next puzzle right in here is uh, one of those that I almost don't even consider a puzzle. Uh, because it is an extremely simple solve. Literally, you just take this connector here, uh, connect it to that, and put it down like right here. And that's the entire puzzle solved. So it was a little bit tricky to figure out how to break it without just solving it. But I figured out a way. You just take this connector here. Connect it there to that, put it down, and we've done it. There we go. And then for this next puzzle, we're going to... Let me get there first. Alright, so you'll notice that there's a bit of a height difference between the, uh, the spots under the water here and these little raised walkways, and we're going to use that to our advantage. So, like, normally the whole trick to this puzzle is figuring out how to, like, wrap the lasers around in such a way that you can connect everything without them colliding. Uh, but we're just going to cheese that super easy by putting one in the water down here. And we'll go grab the other connector. Connect it to blue. Oop, I accidentally, uh, oh, it's just that box that's in the way. And if we put it on top, uh, up on top of here, the height difference is... Again, let me get rid of the box here. The height difference is just enough that uh, they don't overlap. So that's really funny, I think. And then we're just going to exploit the fact that when you put the boxes on a slant like this, um, that upper edge right there ends up even higher than the surface would be if it was just laying flat on this upper area. Because, uh, you know, like, geometry and all that. Let's just grab that there real quick. And what we're going to do is run out of the puzzle. Grab this box here. We're going to get up on top. And we're going to bring this box into the puzzle with us. Uh, do not fall down in there, by the way, with this box. There's no way to get it back out, and you will screw yourself. Okay. And with that done, let's just bring this in here. And we're going to move this connector up on top of the box so that we can reach it from up on top of the uh, wall there. And we'll use the slanted box to jump up here. And we'll just run around on top of the wall. And very carefully, without the jump guide screwing us over, we're going to get up on top of right here. Uh, we're going to connect it to the receptacle that's right inside the previous puzzle over there. And we want to put it right down on top of this little circular platter. It's really hard. There we go. And that will open that one just barely. We need to place it up on top of this one because if you place it like right along here or even on here it just collides with that wall. And you can really see how close that is. That's like touching the wall. And with that done um, we are just going to grab this box and bring it over here. Gotta love these holes in the wall. And there we go. And once again, we'll jump up here. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We need to come in here first and put these in the corner. And with that done, now we can jump up here. Grab our box so that we can use it to get up on top. Grab our connector. Jump up on top. And we will just connect these together. Just like that. 
Alright, that is... Oh yeah, we just need to go in here and uh, finish this puzzle off here. Forgot about that. Alright. And with this one done, that is all 12 pieces, all 12 puzzles done. Not a single one solved properly. And to get out, um, this is really the hardest trick in this whole area. You can jump up on top of this little corner here. And from here, you can jump up on that little ledge. And from here, we're going to jump up on this little pillar right here. And it's probably going to take me many attempts, so uh, please bear with me, folks. Hey, there we go. That was only, like, what, five attempts? Something like that. I've uh, easily taken over 30 or 40 attempts to do that before. And with the tutorial done, the next thing we're going to do is the museum puzzles in New Jerusalem, because why not? I want to be thorough, so I'll meet you there. All right, and we are back in the museum in New Jerusalem here. Uh, funnily enough, I had to go back in time even further by downgrading my game to 1.0, uh, because some of the things we'll be doing in here have been fixed in later versions. So the very first thing we'll do here is uh, use that very same exploit we used our first time around and use the box on the fan to get up on top of the wall there. Uh, we'll actually be using this exploit for all three puzzles, so get used to it. First one, we don't even need the box, we're just going to run around, and uh, all three puzzles, funnily enough, do involve running around on top of the walls like this. And there we go, that one's solved. Uh, now, interestingly, in later versions, when you solve a puzzle in here, uh, it opens up all of the blue barriers, but I guess they didn't think of that in the original release, so we are completely stuck. So I'm going to be resetting after each one because, yeah. And let's just do our trick one more time here. Except this time we will be bringing the box with us to the next puzzle. So this here is one of the things they fixed in later versions. They don't let you jump up on the wall like this. Um, but we're just going to use the box here to help us get to the top of the puzzle area. And once we're up on top of this wall, we no longer need the box. And we're going to begin our very precarious climb all the way to the end. And I really want to take my time with this because I do not want to fall off. And one little hop up here on top of this mountain. Very carefully climb over here. And we'll get on top of that. Turn the corner here. God, this is nerve-wracking. Okay, and then from here we can just jump into the end. And there we go, there's two of three solved. And let's just reset one more time here. You know the drill. And once again, we will be needing the box with us. And this spot right here is the second thing they fixed in later versions. Uh, doesn't let you jump up on top of this wall. Even when you can, it's still very tricky to do. Okay, with the box with us, we're going to run all the way around to the back side here. And once again, we're going to use the box to climb up on top of the walls and then make a very precarious long run along the wall tops. Uh, sound familiar? Now the tricky part here is jumping up on top of there uh, before the box falls, because we do need the box with us. Hmm. Even just getting into that little window is hard enough on its own, but... When you factor in having to grab the box afterward as well, it's really hard. Alright, I finally did that. Jesus Christ. With that done, we're just going to... Mm, I want to move this box closer. Need it as close as we can get it to up there so we can reach it. 
All right, we're gonna grab it. We're gonna run along the rooftop here. Now this is a tricky part right here. If you land on top of this uh, little catwalk there, it will knock you back into the puzzle. So we need to make sure we stay on the wall here. And then once we get to the scaffold, it's safe to jump down. And from here, we can just jump over. And there's our third puzzle solved. Now there's actually one last thing I wanna show you guys. So uh, let me just reset and show you real quick. All right, this is the last time I'm doing this, I promise. We're just gonna grab our box and we're gonna take it right over to the same puzzle that we just solved. And right here, we're gonna use the box to help us climb up on top of these pillars and then onto this piece of wood. And from here, we are up on top of the uh, museum roof. And we can do all sorts of fun stuff, like uh, jump down into these little courtyards here. And look in from the outside. So yeah, that was really it. Um, I will jump cut over to East One, where we'll start solving our first real puzzles. And here we are in East One, and we have five puzzles to break here. Uh, numbers 1, 2, 4, 6, and the Southern Lost Puzzle. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is 1 and 2, and normally that's how you're supposed to do it, because that gate there doesn't let you through until you've done them both. Now, obviously we did find a way around that the first time through, but uh, there's no getting around it this time. We've just got to do them. And we're actually going to use each puzzle to solve the other one. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is come in here and grab this green converter and put it right next to the door. Right about there it should do. And then we're just going to run right over here to the other side. And then using that green combined with this blue right here, um, we can get red and we can just solve the puzzle with it. Just like that. Now from this side, we're gonna take this and instead make a blue laser using the red and green. And we're gonna connect it to that blue receptacle in there, just like that. Now we're gonna run back across. Let's just move this out of the way here. And that'll let us get the blue, uh, and that'll let us get the cube here. And of course, we're gonna smuggle it out. And I noticed that there's a wall that kind of doesn't have collision for it. Um, anything above this little line right here, uh, you can jump inside of. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. Uh, we're gonna put the box down here and use it to jump over the wall into the pedestal room there. That was very odd physics. It was like moving me up. I'm gonna try this a little bit. And there we go. Easy as pie. And with those two done, uh, we are now freed, and I'm gonna run over to puzzle number four next. So in this one, um, we're going to use a little trick that I discovered on my own, and then uh, I found out it's been being used in speedrunning for like since the game's come out, basically. So that's uh, how most of these things go that I find. I think it's unique, and then I go and look, and people have been using it for forever. Uh, so for this one, all you have to do is like kind of pull back on the fan, and then drop the box kind of into the fan, which will knock it off like forward from you. And then you just have to hit space to kind of jump to it and it'll launch you over the box uh, and in this case onto the wall right there so let me do that here mm, let me reset all right let's try that a little less successfully this time but a little more successfully than that yeah there we go then i just need to jump across here and we get into the end. And from here, I'm just gonna have to run over to puzzle number eight to get a box out of there. So let me do that real quick. All right, let me just have to do a tiny little bit of setup here first. So we're gonna need to put that there, put this on here. Connect this to that and that to get our box out. 
And 10 points to anybody who can guess what we're going to do with this box. That's right, we're going to smuggle it out. Just like that. Alright, I will meet you guys over at the Lost Puzzle on the south side of the map. Alright, and what is there to do with the cube other than smuggle it in and out of things? And that's what we're going to do here. And we're just going to solve the puzzle by jumping up on this pillar. Stupid jump guides. Alright, then we just need to balance this on this little black fence here, which is a little tricky. But, not that tricky. And from up here we can, of course, just solve the puzzle. And now that all the uh, barriers are open, I'm just going to grab a connector here and we're going to get it out of the puzzle the same way we just got ourselves out of the puzzle. Just leave that right there for now. Come on. Stop rocking. Stop sliding. Good. Alright, and with this out of the puzzle, I'm just going to run over to number six and drop it off real quick. Alright, next I just need to run to the back side of number five, and we can get there just by jumping down here. Now we're going to have to solve five the same way that we did our first time around, by parkouring in through the back, uh, because we need some of those blue barriers open to be able to get the jammer out. So we're just going to get in from right here. We're going to jump down in. Almost jumped too far there. Ooh. Okay. We jump over here. And then in here. And now that the gates are open, they're going to give me a stupid group video call. So let me do that real quick. Alright. And with that done, we can just get this jammer out through the crack here. Just like that. Let's put it by the wall right here. And let me run around real quick. And we're pretty much going to do exactly the same thing we just did again, but with a jammer in our hands. Lighting really doesn't like what we're doing right now. Alright, now here's the tricky bit. We need to land on that wall instead of going over it. But not too tricky. Let me just jump out of the puzzle. Alright, let me bring this over to number 6 real quick and we can get that one solved. Alright, so we're just going to take this red laser right here and connect it to that gate to open it. And we're going to jam the second gate. And this is all done. And with all these done, uh, let me just go through the Easter eggs in this area real quick since I never did before. So our very first one is going to be right down here on top of, or not on top of, but between puzzles 5 and 6, there is a rock. There's a little carving in it that says A plus C, and that's of course Athena and Cornelius. So with that done, um, we're just going to run around to the back side of puzzle number 5. We're going to kind of follow this wall all the way back. And right here around the corner on the wall, there are movie posters for a Talos Principle movie uh, released in 1961. Okay, with that done, uh, there's a purple hologram straight over this way. This one I believe I did show off in the first episode. It might have been the only one I showed off. I may have shown off the movie posters too. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, these are the... Uh, enemy mine things from Talos Principle 1. And our last easter egg is going to be right up on the wall over here. Alright, I will give you one guess as to what we're going to find up here. Just go into photo mode real quick.
guess what? It's the kitty face. All right, and that is everything in East 1. So give me a minute and we'll switch over to East 2. All right, and here we are in East 2. And the four puzzles that we have to break here today are number 2, number 6, and both lost puzzles. Uh, number 6 is going to be the first one we're going to head to. But real quick, um, let me know what you guys prefer, uh, first or third person. I definitely prefer third person from a gameplay viewpoint. Uh, but I'd be really interested in finding out what you guys like from a viewer's perspective. So, uh, let me know. Alright, so here in number six, uh, we're going to use a trick that I just discovered, and I like to call photo cancelling. Uh, I am not the first person to discover it, and I don't know what the official term is. But, basically, the gist of it is, when you're on a fan, it puts you in a very specific uh, flight path, and you're not allowed to leave that, so I can't, like, get up on top of that wall up there. Uh, but if you go into photo mode, it unlocks you from that path. So if you use it at just the right spot, you can really alter your trajectory. And we're going to use that to our advantage to get up on top of that little wall right there, so that we can get that jammer out. So if you use it right there, it should put you on top of the wall, just like that, yep. And from here, we can just jump down, jam that, power the fan, get up, and break it. Now, we're also going to need this jammer uh, for number two, so I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to take it on the second fan here, just for a little bit of variety. You can see we can even get up here. All right, let me run this down to number five real quick. All right, and in this one, we're just going to use this jammer to free the other jammer. Um, normally, you're not even supposed to get this out of this room. I guess you could pass it, like, into there, but you can't do anything in there either. So we're just going to get this out. We're also going to need to turn this fan on. And we're going to photo cancel one more time to break out of the puzzle. Now that we have two jammers, we're going to bring them both to number two. So give me a couple minutes to do that real quick. And here we go. We're not quite ready to do number two yet. Uh, we still need another connector that we're going to get from our next puzzle. Um, and that puzzle is going to be Lost South. It is literally on the opposite side of the map. Uh, you really could not put two puzzles further apart than these two are in this map. So give me a couple minutes and I'll run over there real quick. All right, here we finally are. So uh, all we've got to do in this one is just use this connector to open the gate here. Drill a hole through the wall so that we can get our box out. And then there is a very conspicuously placed low wall right here that we're going to use to our advantage. And we're going to need both the uh, jammer or the driller here and the box over on the other side of it. Right there. And we'll hop up and grab the box as well. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's try that one more time. That's better. All right, let's break this one as well. And then the only other thing I need to do is to get the connector out. And we can do that by passing the box back through here. And since the puzzle is solved, now we don't have to worry about this blue gate, and we can just take the connector through. Alright, now that we got that out, let's run this all the way back to number two and do that one next. Alright, and we are finally ready to do number two. So the first thing we're going to do is just uh, bypass needing that driller for the wall there and just connect these directly. And then we're going to need to run in and use this driller to make a hole in the next wall. Um, so what I really wanted to do with this one is, it was so close to working out, I wanted to create a hole there and then take this jammer. And I was really hoping I would be able to just put this here and be able to grab the jammer through the hole because that would really simplify this process. Uh, unfortunately, the distances are just a little bit too long. 
the angles are just a little bit too off and there's no way to do that so this will have to do so anyway we're going to pass that through and i think yeah we're going to use that to jam nope we actually need to we're not going to use this to jam anything we're just going to pass it through come over here and then with this first outer jammer jam that next gate in there and then we're going to need to take this other jammer and run it around to the back side of the puzzle because there's one more gate we're going to need to jam up here we're going to do it from up on top. It's going to be that one that's kind of off in the distance right there. Well, the trick is getting it into a spot that allows it to see the gate, but it doesn't slide off of the rock. I don't think this is going to work. But let me just check. Nope, that actually did work. Okay. All we got to do now is just run through here. And we're done. Easy as that. And that just leaves one more puzzle, uh, the Northern Lost Puzzle, which is thankfully right next to us, so we don't have to run too far. So uh, let me meet you there real quick. Alright, actually that was a little bit further of a run than I remembered it being, uh, but this one's going to be extremely simple to solve. We're just going to smuggle this through the purple gate using our usual trick. And connect red to red, run through here, grab the other connector, and connect it to the final red. And we are done with that one as well. Alright, and with that, I believe that is every single puzzle uh, up to the current point in the series broken now. Uh, meet me next time as we do our final mega structure visit, and we'll do the gold puzzles. And then after that, we just have the uh, finale area and the ending. And that's really it. We're getting really close. All right, I will see you in the present time. Peace. Second of all, I would like to introduce you to something that I like to call the Wheel of Crime. Each gold puzzle corresponds to one of these exploit types, and we'll be giving the wheel a spin before each puzzle to determine which one will be next. Let's jump right into it and spin this wheel for the first time here. 